Hey, good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard, my dog Yucca, baby bear, and Rio's in bed with Lori this morning. Uh, my daughter Samantha came up to visit me, and we kayaked and paddleboarded our brains out. Did a did the Blackfoot River, and then we went over and bear get down. Sorry, bear get down down. Bear, down. It's our new baby bear. He is a Belgian Malinois and Border Collie. And he keeps hurting my other dog hurting my other dogs. So he herds Yucca and he herds Rio and kinda interesting. Maybe there's a message there. Stop that. He's never gonna stop that. So uh Anyway, Samantha was up here for a week, and we had a great time, uh, spent lots of time together, uh, had some good talks on the water, and um, I had some good healing, so it was all a good, uh, good thing. Lay down. Lay down. So it was all a good thing, um, relatively calm. Come on, out, come on, out, come on, out, come on. All right, there you go. Oh. So, without any more interruptions, um, you know, thing, things that happened in your past long ago, and uh, sometimes they come back in just to see if you're you're healed or uh, how you're gonna react or how things are gonna be. And uh, I think it went well. I I really do. And I can't wait for her to come visit again. And um, I'd love to go visit her sometime. It's just uh. It's hard, you know, it's like that, that song, I think it's a Cat Stevens, uh, about father and son. It's the same with father and daughter, but, you know, we all grow up so fast and we don't have time, uh, you know, time just flies by and we seem to not have any time. And so th that's really important. So it, if if you have the time or even if you don't have the time take the time out and spend some good quality time before the end of summer with your kids um i think that's super duper duper important uh back to schools you know right away if not already happened uh labor day happens and it kind of marks the end of summer there's still some some warm days hopefully and some beautiful days to get out. Uh, maybe, you know, the first weekend they, they're they in school. Uh, plan something and take them out of school for that uh, Monday or something. But um, do the best you can, you know. I think that giving, uh, giving as much as you can, you know. Um, not just to your kids, but to everyone. And... Um, <laughs> of course, keeping enough for yourself and all of that. But <clears throat> I think giving is the, one of the best things that you can do um, is a spiritual thing. And uh, you're not giving so that you get something. You're giving so that you can nurture somebody and um, make them feel better about uh, the future and different things. And, um, I just, uh, I'm really excited that Samantha had an opportunity to come up here and see where I live, see how I live and all of those things and get a little more understanding about her dad. And, um, uh, I just can't wait for the future. So that's all I really have to say about that. Uh, big hug, Samantha, and uh, big hug to all you out there. Um, 
I do need a prayer. I'm uh, I'm coming to the end of season, so seasons are changing. Uh, winter's coming. I'm going to grow grow my beard back. And uh, I'm looking for a good job. I'm looking for, you know, like construction uh, foreman or excavator and uh, something that's a, a bit of a higher paying job and just a better job in general. So that's what I'm holding out for. Um, also, it's not too late to book any tours if you decide you want to go on a pure adventure in Montana. It doesn't snow till October and the rivers are still running. Uh, we do have protective cold weather gear that we put on for the rivers when it's a bit chilly and uh, makes it feel like a summer day out there. Anyway, uh, my number is 406-215-6281 if anybody's interested in getting out on the water. Uh, check out my Facebook, Stephen Howard and uh, Pure Adventures Montana. And check out all the photos there and all the things that we've been doing uh, for this summer. And I uh, look forward to seeing you out on the water. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.